from Green Bay WI to uh, Seattle WA. Uh, that was, of course, the great Harvey K. Now we go to the uh, great 206 in Puget Sound and talk to the great Mark Taylor Canfield. He, of course, the Mark, you watch news executive director and the Renaissance man of the Jeff Santos show. MTC, how are you, my man? Oh, yeah. Jimi Hendrix, hey, get your heart good. out. Uh, way to go, my man. How are you but feeling? Oh, well, you know, I'm taking a leave, I think, for from Democracy Watch News for a while. I'm not resigning or anything, but I got to deal with some personal stuff, keep do my music and keep building the studio. And I have to decide whether to run for city council because four seats yes. are open. It's going to be a huge shakeup on the Seattle City Council, our Democratic Socialist. Well, what do you Thomas think, man? Are you going to do it? Are you going to break the news right here? Uh, not yet, because I'm okay. waiting to see right. what other progressive Next candidates week. are running. And there's a couple of really good ones. Sure. Joy Hollingsworth is good. Uh, let's see, who else we got? Andrew Ashafu. These are great candidates, African-Americans, who are really going to represent, uh, in one case, the LBGT community, which is good. Um, and also, Joy, she actually helped her family build a sustainable cannabis farm. So these are real Seattle candidates. And um, I don't want to split the ticket. So we'll see what happens. There are two districts that I could possibly run in. Alex Peterson uh, is, is not running, which is probably a good thing. He's the guy who voted against, you know, the supporting the Starbucks workers and their efforts to organize. But what usually happens here is, here is we get a whole slew, uh, you know, of progressive candidates who run against each other in the primaries, and they get a split ticket, so they all cancel each other out, and then we get some, yeah, you know, less conservative feeling. business person. So I don't want to be a part of that. Um, so we'll see what happens if, if we can find a way for me to run and, uh, make sure that we get the kind of progressive and, uh, POC representative on the city council that we need, uh, I will do it, but I'm waiting to see. We really are going to have a big shakeup. There've been major tech layoffs here. I know we haven't really talked about that, but Amazon and other companies yeah. also have been laying off left and right, thousands and thousands of workers. So that's a big issue. And of course, we already talked about the fact that homelessness and the rising, co the rising cost of housing are the two major issues in Washington state right now. So uh, the candidates have to address those issues if they want to get elected. And we do have the democracy voucher program here. So there is five and a half million dollars that's available to the candidates if we can get uh, people to sign up for our democracy vouchers and each person will get like 250 bucks to spend on our campaign. So we'll see you, Jeff. In the meantime, check out my music. Sold Me Down the River has been released on uh, Spotify and all the major uh, or major download sites. And also see my yeah, uh, check music video. Out my see you later, Jeff. Thank you, MTC. All the best, my man. Thank you very much. Check him out on YouTube. That's the best way to do it, folks. I want to thank uh, Josh for producing this broadcast with help from Freddie Santori uh, back on Monday, folks. Have yourself a great weekend. My name is Jeff Santos. Keep on fighting peacefully. Right now, it's my time to say I'm going to go.